explorers and welcome back to another adventure vlog i hope you're all having a great day today i know i am for sure so i just had a great and successful night's sleep here at this uh random church on the side of the divided highway route 421 of north carolina going to uh wilkesboro and boone and stuff like that I'm about to head around the corner over there to a place called fort hamby park it's also a part of the uh smithies creek public access area little place. There's a pretty big lake and stuff. It's about 6 30. The sun just came up and at the end of this trip I'm gonna have to remember to resubmit my safe humanity hat on my merch store again <laughs> which is funny and right with a, a pin or something. 111,200 miles because obviously this sticker up here is a little bit old. Uh, this is what my mile marker is uh, right now. It's at 111,282 so it's not too bad or anything. But as you can tell there's the sunrise. Looks super good. Here's the divided highway with the church sign right over there and some businesses and yeah please come along for the ride by hitting that subscribe button because this trip and my van life adventure has been a lot of fun so far just as good as the other trips so i think my van's pretty much warmed up so i'm just gonna hit the road now Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed my drive today in the intro. I actually went down the first road to Fort Hamby, but I got there a little bit too early so the gate was closed. So I head down the road to the actual Smithies Creek public little uh, boat launch area. Not too sure how much it is to pay for launch a boat, but if you're not doing that, uh, everything else is free. <laughs> Which is super cool. The restrooms are open. I also stopped at the uh, Sigo gas station to grab a vanilla Starbucks Frappuccino and a Minute Maid. <laughs> Just parked right up there in the footage that you're about to see. <laughs> Look at this dude. <laughs> this is super nice down here. This place is also a part of the uh, W. Kerr Scott uh, Dam and Reservoir Army Corps, a little engineer's place. <laughs> super nice here and peaceful. Very quiet. I think I'm just going to grab a quick picture and then potentially fly my drone later. <laughs> but yeah, look at this. Here's the reservoir thing down here, the little creek. <laughs> Dude, this is so nice. It's so quiet down here. <laughs> I think there's some people where they're fishing. There's a bunch of trees that have fallen down here at some point in time. And there's the sunrise. <laughs> Not too sure what time it is, but honestly, I really don't care. I'm enjoying my life. I'll be super happy today. Goodness, it's quiet. <laughs> Look how cool this is. There's a little coastline. I may walk over there pretty soon. See if there's a trail that leads over there to Fort Hamby. <laughs> but yeah, here's the creek. Look at this. It's not windy at all down here. Everything is super super still crazy how quiet and peaceful it is here still and it's 8 15 in the morning look at this man this is absolutely incredible here's my view at the side doors there's little water spigot that you can use if you're interested or whatever in your standard stuff like picnic tables and charcoal grill and a trash can and everything else <laughs> here's my view at the back windows it's pretty much nobody here except for some people down there at the boat ramp they also have a playground over there Look at those cool trees. Everything's growing up down here in North Carolina. Anyway, I just finished one of my uh, Caesar salads right there. Uh, borrowed my mom's little scraper that she uses to clean the stuff off of her stove. And got the paint flecks off my back windows, obviously before I left on this trip. So now they look a lot better. I just don't feel like cleaning my back windows or my windshield yet until this trip is over. Because it's kind of pointless to do that while I'm out here. You know, it's just going to get more dirty. <laughs> but anyway, uh, here's my little Minute Maid cranberry thing I've been drinking. And from the first video, I don't know if you've seen this yet, but look at this. Here's my new Wolverine shoes bought from the shoe department in Withville, Virginia. <laughs> 
Look at that, dude. They look so freaking good. I've been uh keeping them in good condition as much as possible and not trying to do any mud or something. So I think I'm gonna try to roll out of here before 12 o'clock in the afternoon and, uh, you know, just film tomorrow's video on the same day as this one. Uh, but for now, I think I'm just gonna walk down that trail way over there somewhere. There's the playground back there that I mentioned earlier. And here's the front of this place that you saw in the footage where I drove in. You know, there's that, like, you know, light pole and the little payment thing over there and stop sign and stuff. <laughs> Check that out. I just parked right over there. You can't even see my van. It's just chilling behind the trees, hiding. <laughs> but look at this thing. There's a little castle fort sign thing or whatever the heck this thing is on the front of this uh, wooden fence. You can kind of see through there a little bit. I guess I'll also give you this kind of view. Like, what is up in there anyway? <laughs> just looks like one of those standard little power boxes. And it looks like it's getting a little bit cloudy today as well. As you can tell, look at that. That's a pretty cool little tree over there. And then there's a birdhouse way down that way. And there's one up there as well. Behind those evergreen trees. So I'm just gonna walk up there and then start hiking on the trail and see what's down there. Probably feel some stuff along the way. <laughs> but yeah, this is cool, man. It smells good out here <laughs> and it feels good. At least it's not too hot today, uh, but it is still pretty early. I think it's gonna get up to like 80 degrees. <laughs> so that'll be in the next video. Oh yeah, look how big these trees are. Actually, you know what? This might be the same type of trees that were up by uh, grandma's old house way up there in Stafford, Virginia. That was uh, before she moved in September of 2021 last year, but yeah. Pretty sure they're the same kind of trees. <laughs> Don't really pay attention that much to trees, which is like weird for me. <laughs> but yeah, look at this dude. It's super cool back here. I don't really know what that thing is. May just be for, I don't know, like a gate or something. It's like a little pole. It's completely random. <laughs> but yeah, all right now, let's get hiking down that trail. <laughs> Here's a better view of this gravel parking area that I showed at the intro. I don't know if you saw it to the left, but yeah, look at this. <laughs> it's just a completely random gravel little parking area where I don't really know if you can actually park here or not. It could just be for the park people or a turnaround spot or something. <laughs> But yeah, look how cool this is. It's kind of interesting. It's a decent size. It's not too big, not too small. Here's the wood line. Looks like it kind of goes kind of steep down there. There's a little uh, drainage thing right here on the front with, you know, one of those standard black pipes <laughs> coming out of the ground or going through it or whatever. It's like a drainage thing. <laughs> Again, like I just said, look how cool that is. <laughs> pretty crazy. And I'm pretty sure the trail is right up that way. <laughs> there was a uh, little parking area gravel thing of some sort with like an info sign off to the right up here. So I don't know if I need to walk that far to get to the trail. I may just drive up here. <laughs> but yeah, check this out. Here's a ginormous tree that fell. Looks like they cut it up. It was probably in the road at some point. <laughs> Guess what? You probably can't hear that, but I hear a boat just going down the river in the distance. <laughs> and literally just across from that fallen down tree and then that gravel parking area that I just showed is the super old abandoned trail driveway of some sort off to the left. Look at this. Like, I have no idea where this goes or if, if there's even, like, absolutely anything back here whatsoever. I don't know what all these orange little flags are sticking in the ground and these metal fence posts, little fencing things. I really don't know what they have going on down here, what they're really doing. It does look kind of interesting, though, and cool, I guess. Huh. Actually, you know what? They might be planting trees. <laughs> Please comment below if you know exactly what they're doing to me. It looks like they're planting trees. <laughs> Doesn't it look like they are? It's pretty cool looking. But yeah, I don't think this really gives us much of anywhere, really. I think it probably ends down here at some point at the uh, bottom because it does go downhill. Looks like they have more trees planted over here and then some other metal thing just laying on the ground right there. I guess it's just another one of those metal posts that fell over at some point. <laughs> but yeah, this is cool, dude. Look at this. I'm in the middle of butt nowhere. <laughs> Here's this official gravel parking area that I was just talking about earlier. As you can see, there's the main road that you can come off onto and just park here wherever you want, it looks like. There's the Smithy's Creek Wildlife Management Area sign. It looks like the speed limit over there is 35 miles an hour. There's a pretty cool house over there, the little outdoor gazebo, and it smells like flowers and stuff. Here's the stop sign where you can, uh, you know, not go through, drive through it or whatever, because it's kind of, you know, natural and stuff. <laughs> you know, you don't want to be tearing up the, uh, you know, earth or whatever. Right here is a uh, hunter's little register sign where you can register if you're a hunter. It has a little roof on it, and there's the good old Smithy's logo. 
<laughs> it's super fun back here. There's a super tall, bare laney branches, evergreen tree. All the branches are actually up there at the top. And I'm pretty sure down that way is the Bushwhacker Falls Trail. <laughs> at least it's what it says on Google Maps from the opposite side. And I looked on the uh, map as well. It turns out there's a bunch of clearings down here. <laughs> so hopefully this actually leads over here because that would be pretty cool. Uh, I think it's still pretty early, almost 9 o'clock, so i got plenty of time until 12. <laughs> but yeah, look at this. This is so much fun. Alright, currently walking down the trail now. Let's go. <laughs> Please comment below what you thought about all this scenery back here in this gym of a spot. It's freaking amazing. I just came down the hill from over there, and it turns out beavers built this tan. Most likely. I mean, it's pretty much safe to say that. <laughs> Literally, the only thing that's back here is a tiny little blue ribbon on that tiny little tree. And, you know, just a lot of plants and stuff back here, like always. But look at that right there. There's a big yellow bushel of flowers. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. And I don't know what this used to be doesn't look like much of anything really kind of just looks like all this stuff got washed up here on the uh little island slash shoreline this almost looks like a post and i don't know what this thing is looks like a super weird muddy mucky dirty weird looking uh swampy puddle thing right here in the middle <laughs> it's pretty hilarious so yeah it's pretty nice back here i bet you hunters come back here all the time since this is part of the little hunting section <laughs> this is cool man look at this there's blue sky so nice dude huh it looks like people have uh came back here and chilled and just relaxed and probably sat on the little rock and stuff because <laughs> there's some kind of blue little abandoned tin can little uh canteen thing of some sort <laughs> look at that huge tree and all these vines and here's what it just came out of which is this ginormous open field uh there really isn't much of anything we're going back here it's pretty you know relatively decent to walk as you can see, here's the random pine tree in the middle. Actually, not a pine tree. <laughs> I don't know what kind of tree this is. It looks cool though. But yeah, it's a perfect day. Perfect blue sky. Still pretty early. Not really uh, warmed up all the way yet. And here's what the top of this natural uh, little beaver dam looks like. <laughs> Look at that thing over here. <laughs> Super cool. The uh, creek looks kind of dirty. I don't know what all that stuff is down in there. <laughs> Super weird. But yeah, there's the uh, natural little beaver dam and this ginormous tree that fell down on the creek that uh, I don't really think it's worth the risk of climbing over, potentially. <laughs> You might could do it. I don't really know if you really want to, you know, do it or not. Uh, potentially, I might actually cross this on the way back. Because <laughs> it do does look kind of sturdy. Uh, actually got my shoes a little bit muddy, but not too bad. I just walked across the creek over there on the most shallow part. But yeah, <laughs> this is cool, man. I'm in the middle of freaking nowhere. dude walking up that hill was uh super hard it was pretty steep but i finally made it up here to fort hamby <laughs> check this out there's the basketball courts right there there's no back end on them right now here's campsite number three with your little water spigot and looks like that is a little outdoor amphitheater and they got a picnic shelter down here with a little restroom and stuff and yeah there really isn't much to this place it's pretty simple <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get back over to the other side to my van. I might go down that way and see if walking along the uh, shoreline is a little bit easier. <laughs> 
But yeah, look how cool this is, dude. I think I'm gonna head down here to this little boat dock thing or boat ramp <laughs> and just chill before hiking back in about an hour and a half. <laughs> There's another picnic shelter. And yeah, it's a cool little place back here. Walking through the campground here was pretty nice, and I hope you just enjoy that scenery back there. Please give it a like to let me know. I just started walking down Bushwalker Falls Trail, and here's a little wooden platform bridge thing of some sort. Uh, I guess at some point, the uh, water from the creek or whatever runs way down there into the actual lake. <laughs> it's so nice, dude. It's so much cooler in the shade. I'll tell you one thing, it's hot sitting back there in the sun. <laughs> dude, check out this waterfall. This is absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness. Look how cool this is. Obviously, it's not too big, but it's still, you know, pretty cool nonetheless. So, you know, kind of giving off a cool little breeze if you walk, like, all the way up here close to it. So, yeah, I definitely recommend coming to this place. I think you'll have a really great time and a lot of fun and stuff. I'm not too sure how much it is for camping. I uh, didn't really pay attention when I initially drove down there uh, to the front of the place. <laughs> like I mentioned earlier in today's video. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna walk right down there around the corner to the super opening little clearing where it's like the most shallow and crossover back to my van. And I guess I'll just wrap up my video right here <laughs> since I really don't have anything else to do today. But yeah, like I mentioned uh, in the last video at the end, uh, definitely stay tuned for tomorrow's video because <laughs> I gave a hint uh, in the end of yesterday's video. So I uh, don't really know how many of you watched to the end of that but <laughs> definitely gonna be some cool places where i'm going later today yeah i guess that's basically it so like always please remember to like comment and subscribe this place was incredibly peaceful and beautiful thanks for watching and i'll talk to you in the next adventure